welcome to macrocon if you're new to this channel consider subscribing so today we're going to start a new series on dotnet 8 blazer with auto render magic entity framework core and sql server so to begin with we are going to create a new project then we are going to choose blazer so blazer so I'm going to choose Blazor. So we have different uh, options here. So you can see we have a uh, uh, Blazor web app. We have Blazor web assembly standalone, Blazor web assembly app empty. So I'm going to choose a Blazor web app. So if you choose this, then we can have our can define our location where we'll, we'll want our project. So, so we'll have my project there. Then I can say this is uh, students. So the name of our project is students management. Then next. So here we are going to choose .NET 8. Then authentication mode, we can have uh, individual accounts. Then interactive render mode. So we actually have three modes. Huh? We have the server, WebAssembly, and auto. That is server and WebAssembly combined. So we are going to go with auto. Then uh, we can uh, create our project. So as our project creates, so you can see we have uh, we have our project that is a. Uh, students management client and you have here students management so after you've done that you can see we have our data application adb context already defined then we have our application user. Then we also have program.cs file. And we also have our app settings. We, we are going to connect this to our database. So we just launched this project. So this is our default .NET uh, 8 Blazor with auto render mode. So it's actually combined for server and web assembly so if we just launch our project there you go so this is our project we have a counter we have the weather so this is the data we have authentication you can actually register a user and you can uh, log in so we can actually create a database database for our project so i'm going to use ms sql so let's launch uh, SQL Server Management Studio. So I'm going to create a project called uh, Student. Create a database for students. So I'll create a new database. Then I'll say Students Blazor Blazor App. So we will click OK. So we can actually now connect this to our project. Uh, on our server here, we put in my server name, so I can actually get the server name from here. So this is my server name, so I'll add it here. Then a database name, I'll take my database name. This is my database name. Come and paste it here. Sorry, so I'll have it here. So as you can see, we have a trust connection through multiple active result set. And I can add another one. You can say trust server certificate. Then you can have these as true. So if I save that, so our connection, our default connection is now connected to, so it is actually on our, so these are default connection. Another thing that we can do is uh, we can create a model. So the next thing that I want us to do is to create a folder here. Let's create a folder for 
models so i'm going to create a model for students so i'm going to create a student model then you can have these as public int so this is our key then the next thing is we want to have a string so i'll say string then first name sorry first name so i'll also do string that middle name also do last name string at last name then i can do here string email address can also have my string that can say address can also have a string uh, then you can say here phone number can also have here string then you can say country so this one is our model so we want to have these as one of our tables so what i need to do come to data application db context so here let's see so this is our application db context i'm going to have uh, i'm going to set here my I'm going to set here my table, say public, then db set. Then I'm going to have my student, then I'll say students. So this is our table name. So if I do this, I'm going to use my model. So if that is it, so the next thing that we can do we can add migrations to create these tables to our database so i'll come to tools package manager console then i can add initial so i can add migration then i'll give the name of the migration so i can say initial migration so if i add it let's see what happens So our migration should be created there you go if you come to the data then migration folder you will you'll see a, an initial migration file has been created with the students table you can see we will have our let me just minimize this and this so we'll have our first name our fa id first name middle name and our primary key will be the id so this table will be created so to do that we can reflect these changes because if you come to our database you will not be able to see this kind of uh, table so if we come here tables you see we don't have any table so to add this table to our database you will do update database press enter then if everything goes well our table should be created can see it is actually generating uh, sql commands you can see here it is a uh, create students table id int not null identity first name middle name last name email address phone number country and we have our constraint which is our primary key so if we come to our database refresh we will have some tables one is our ef core migrations so we'll have the name of our migrations then you also have our uh, SPNet roles table, SPNet roles claims, SPNet user claims, SPNet logins, and you have SPNet user roles, SPNet users, SPNet tokens, and you have now our students table. So that is how you can create a sample uh, blazer with dot net uh, eight so this is just a simple project that we've just created so we'll be 
uh, continuing with this series so if you are new to this channel consider subscribing and watching some of the videos that you have created so if we launch our project uh, we can be able to see that everything is going on well so the next thing that we are going to do is now to do a crude operation so we need to do a crude operation and you can actually register a user so if we come to this project and we say email so we say test at admin dot com then we put in password we put in password then you click register you can see our project as registered and you can say confirm email account so if we come to our users if we come to our spnet users we should be able to see that the account has been created you can see a username email address password everything is fine and we can actually now log in sorry we can actually now log into our project so if we come here and i put in the password and i say login you can see welcome to our new app so you can see our account is here test at admin.com and we can actually log out so that is it for today so on our next series we are going to proceed with this project so remember to subscribe and keep watching see you on our next video bye